Good afternoon, everyone. It's not often that any of us in politics get to stand with a legend. Uh, the state representatives behind me are all good men and women, but they're not legends. Not yet. Uh, but Kate Michaelman is. And Kate, I am just uh, so happy and so honored that you're here, uh, so respectful of your career and your commitment and your personal dedication to the rights of women and children. Uh, and if I can uh, learn from you, and I know I have, uh, I will do so. Uh, because I, I share your values. I know how important it is that government trust women to make these decisions. Uh, being pro-choice, which I am, and I debated against and voted against that 1981 Abortion Control Act that's still on the books, it's punitive and burdensome and hard on poor women and hard on young women. Being pro-choice is not just supporting the right of a woman to make a reproductive decision, but it is being supportive of empowering women to be in control of their own destinies, their own family decisions, uh, their own physical well-being, their economic futures. Uh, Kate Michaelman has uh, taught all of us how important that is. And Kate, uh, I'm delighted to have your support. To uh, Josh Shapiro, uh, I, I thank him for everything he does and for his leadership uh, and for the wonderful way he represents me in the State House. Um, and Glad to call Josh and all of these fine representatives my friends. They're giving wonderful public service and I, I salute them all. I'm running for governor because I want to challenge state government to do a better job for the citizens of Pennsylvania. Um, I love public service, I, I love this state, and I love this country, and I want to be part of making a positive change in people's lives. Um, I know that we need a governor who's willing to challenge the way we do business here in Harrisburg. We need a governor that's willing to challenge the legislature to fix itself. We need a governor willing to challenge the broken budgetary process. And we need a governor willing to challenge the people of Pennsylvania to get engaged, to, to, to fight for uh, their rights and the rights of all of their fellow citizens. And we need a governor to appeal to those citizens based upon their hopes and their dreams, not their fears and their anger. I want to lead the Democratic Party to the progressive center in Pennsylvania politics, where we have a, a firm commitment for values that are socially liberal and programs that are fiscally responsible, and a relentless commitment on creating jobs and improving public schools and extending health care. Uh, I know that government has an important role to play. Ronald Reagan was wrong when he said that government is the enemy. The government is us, and we have to pull together in order to improve the quality of all of our lives. And I know government's necessary to fight discrimination. Uh, we, there are long uh, standing battles against discrimination that we know about and we fight, racial and, and ethnic and, and a sad list, but there are others that are less obvious and are just as insidious. The discrimination against the sick and the uninsured uh, from poor uh, insurance practices. The discrimination against poor children from underfunded public schools. The discrimination against the unemployed from unregulated and unfair business practices. Discrimination against the victims of gun violence from a legislature that won't pass sensible gun safety legislation. Uh, even discrimination against people in love who want to marry regardless of their gender. So I want to lead the effort here to make sure that our laws in Pennsylvania reflect the equality that our Creator gave to everyone else. So I will fight with my colleagues that stand behind me uh, to fully fund the uh, early childhood education program that Governor Rendell and the legislature started. I will fight to fully fund the uh, school subsidy formula uh, that is uh, responding to the costing out study and trying to make sure that every school gets a fair uh, subsidy from Harrisburg. I will fight uh, to create jobs uh, in Pennsylvania by better 
educating our young people and training our workforce so they can be prepared for the jobs of tomorrow, uh, working with business and labor uh, and the legislature to invest in those sectors of the economy that are creating jobs. And speaking of labor, let me point out my good friend Dan Woodall, uh, whose uh, Laborers Local has endorsed my campaign. Dan, thank you. And I would seek to spend government money in a comprehensive fashion to coordinate our economic development spending, our transportation spending, our investments in uh, open space uh, improvements, so that we can focus our investments in our downtowns and our older communities, protect our parklands and open spaces, and make sure that we pay close attention to the quality of life in this state. We want businesses to invest here from within the state, from the rest of the country, from overseas. We want our high school graduates and college graduates to stay here. And we have to make sure that we continue to make Pennsylvania a wonderful place to live and work and raise a family. So I know that our best days are in front of us. Well, I am optimistic about the future of Pennsylvania and about state government. I want to join these friends of mine and others to meet the challenges and make this a better place. Thank you very much. <laughs> the